Welcome to Edge One on One. Your process is gonna start with an initial consultation. So along with this email, you will have received a questionnaire that your coach is gonna read before your initial consultation. Once they read over your initial questionnaire, they're gonna go ahead and schedule a consultation with you. Uh, if you're a remote client, we're gonna do that through FaceTime. And if you're local, we can go ahead and, and meet up in person. And uh, in that consultation, what we're gonna do is uh, find out about you, your life, your goals, your training background. So we'll walk through all of your training history and, uh, and then just get a sense of where you're at and where you wanna go. And then from there, that's where we're gonna go ahead and start this process. The next part of this process is the assessment. We have a four part assessment and it's gonna open up with a body composition assessment. So <clears throat> first thing we need is your current height, and wait first thing in the morning on an empty stomach. We want you to use the same scale each time as well. And then what we'll also need is in good clear lighting and again, somewhere where you can do this uh, multiple times, we're gonna get a front picture, a side picture, and a back picture. So it's gonna help to have a buddy. If it's in person, we can do it in my office. So we're looking for uh, women in a bathing suit or a sports bra and shorts, and then guys with a shirt off front, back, and then side photographs. If we have access to an in-body machine, that is going to be uh, ideal for that weight. It's also gonna give us a body fat percentage and then um, some resting metabolic rate uh, numbers as well. So that'll even give us uh, some more dialed in numbers. So if you have access to an in-body, if you're a remote client, that would be ideal. Uh, or if you're local, we can go ahead and just do that in, in my office. The next part of our assessment is gonna be edge mobility. So we're gonna take you through a series of mobility uh, tests and exercises. If you are in person, we're gonna go ahead and put you through that in-house. So a coach is gonna put you through that. If you're a remote client, what we're gonna do right now is shoot uh, video on each test so you can go ahead and film yourself doing those and then you'll send that to your coach so we can assess your mobility. First test we wanna see is the scratch test. So we're gonna do this three times on each side. What we're looking for here, we're gonna go ahead and put our hands into fists. We're gonna put one hand up, one hand under, and what we're trying to do is touch our hands together three times. So unless a lot of us are yogis, most of us aren't gonna be able to get them together. We're gonna to try and get them as close as possible. And us as coaches, we're just looking for your movement patterns um, and checking that shoulder mobility here. Next part of our mobility test is going to be the squat test. So what we're looking for, just put your feet in a comfortable position. Hands are gonna go into a Y shape and we're gonna go ahead and descend into a full range air squat. And we want you to perform three reps, and if you're filming this, three reps showing you from the front and then from 45 degree angles on either side. Our next mobility test is gonna be the lunge test. What we're gonna do, we're gonna put our hands on opposite shoulders, elbows are gonna be up, and we're gonna perform three lunges on each leg, gently kissing that rear knee to the deck. And again, we're gonna perform these, we're gonna do three straight on, and then three from each 45 degree angle on both legs. Our next test is the straight leg test. So we're, what we're gonna do, we're gonna lie down, flat on our back, palms facing up. We're gonna go ahead and lock those quads out, and then we're going to Gently raise each leg three times, trying to get our leg to at least 90 degrees. And again, we wanna film this from all three angles, three times laying flat on the ground. Our next test is the front plank test. So what we're gonna do is get into a push-up plank position. So we're gonna pull those shoulders down and back. We go ahead and screw those arms into the ground. And we want our hands right underneath our shoulders. We're gonna get into a plank position. We get nice and tight. And we're gonna go ahead and hold this for one minute. 
and I want you to film this from the side so we can see if your body is in line. And then also if we're shaking all over the place and we just wanna get a good idea of what your core strength is like. Our next mobility test is the reverse plank. So here, we're gonna test your core strength and some of your mobility here in your wrists as well. So we're gonna go ahead, turn those hands around, get on our heels and then go ahead and bridge those hips up. And we're gonna hold this shape for one minute. And again, we'd like to see you film it from the side, keep everything nice and tight and see if you can hold that position for a minute. Our last mobility test is gonna be a side plank on either side. So what we're gonna do, is gonna lay a forearm down, extend that leg, stack your opposite leg on top, and we're gonna go ahead and bridge these hips up and through. And what we wanna see here is you guys holding this for 90 seconds. If you have to drop before that, that's okay. Go ahead and film it and just give us a nice side angle here so we can check out and see what you look like on this. The next part of this assessment is work capacity. So we have three different tests we can do. If you're in-house, we are gonna do a 10 minute assault bike test for calories. If you are at home, you do not have an assault bike, uh, we can do uh, either a 2K row for time or a one mile run for time. These tests are just to give us a nice little snapshot on where your work capacity is right now. The last part of our assessment is what's called edge experience. This is gonna be two weeks of workouts where we're gonna use these workouts to assess where you're at. We're gonna find out where your strength's at. Um, generally just how you move through Metcon sometimes, some basic uh, metrics on where we're at so we can get a full snapshot of where you're at as an athlete, see what you like, see what you don't like before we go ahead and design your program moving forward. This snapshot's gonna help us program not only your next month, but we're also going to start planning out your next quarter and even uh, goals for your next year through this. After the assessment process, you will now be getting your individual design. From here, you're gonna get daily feedback from your coach. We're gonna set up monthly meetings, whether it's in person or through a FaceTime phone call. Um, also, what we're gonna be doing is providing you uh, small goals, goals over the quarter, and then also goals over the next year. So we're gonna really try and map out a full year plan for you and then slowly progress you towards those big goals. We're really excited to have you guys on board. Can't wait to get your design going.